Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take what we have done in the first tutorial and add to it the multi-turn conversation capability. This means that we will be able to have conversations with the model. This is what we are going to be building in this video. You can see that we have the prompt section where we can write our prompt. I can tell the model, hello, how are you? Just to start the chat. You can see that we will have message blocks that are appearing. Here I have you, which represents my query, and the response that comes from the model shows Gemini Pro. We have the date and the message. Okay, so the model is telling me I am a large language model trained by Google. Okay, uh, let's ask a question. What is the tallest mountain on earth? You can see that the model is saying that Mount Everest is the tallest mountain. To test the chat model capability, I will ask it where, in which country I can find it. So I will not say where in which country I will find the tallest mountain, I'll just say it like this, just to see if the model will be able to understand the full conversations, the full conversation. And as you can see that it is saying that Mount Everest is located on the border between Nepal and China, and this is correct, which means that the model took the past responses or the past messages as context to be able to answer my question, which is good. And one more feature that we have in this application is this scroll view. And let's say that right now I'm, uh, I'm looking at the top message. If I try to ask a new message, let's uh, say, thank you. Look, when I click on the send query button, the scroll view will scroll automatically to show me the latest messages. So this is what we are going to be building in this video. If you want to follow along with me, make sure to go back to the first video and download the source code from GitHub. Open the project in Android Studio and let's start. We need to make some changes inside the activity main.xml file. First, we will change the outer constraint layout into a linear layout with the orientation set to vertical. Now let's take all the views inside the scroll view and put them outside. I am talking about all these views, just take them all and put them outside. You can see that the button is, is not appearing. That's because we need to click on this text input layout and change the layout height from match parent to wrap content. The problem now is fixed. Remove the model response text view because we no longer need it this is going to generate some problems but we are going to fix them great these are all the changes that we need to make now let's tweak some parameters for the views let's give the scroll view an id because we have just one scroll view i will give a simple id like scroll view you can see that the scroll view is touching the button so let's add a margin top of 32 dp Okay, so we have some separation between the button and the scroll view. The linear layout inside the scroll view should have a layout height equal to wrap content. For the ID, I will give it chat response layout. Because the linear layout is touching the sides of the screen, I will add 20 dp as padding to the start and end. And just like that, we have finished working on this file. As you saw in the demo, the chat response layout, I am talking about this linear layout, will contain the message blocks. A message block is a layout that contains some views, like the image view and some text views. Let's create this layout. Right click on the layout folder, go to new, layout resource file. For the file name, I'll choose chat message block and instead of using the constraint layout as the root element i will use the linear layout hit ok inside i will start by adding 
16 dp as padding to, the, to all sides, 16 dp, and I will make the layout height equal to wrap content because this the message block should not cover the whole screen. Then I will add a horizontal linear layout. Inside this, I will add an image view. Right now, I will choose anything, but I will change the icon later. And I will add a text view. The image view will show a circle. This, for example, represents the logo. To show the circle, I will create a new drawable by right-clicking on the drawable folder, go to new, drawable resource file, and here let's call it, for example, circle background. Hit OK. Here, instead of selector, I'll choose shape. Let's give the shape a solid color. I'll choose black, but you can choose any color that you want. And let's add corners. So I'll choose a very big radius so that I can get a perfect circle. Close the circle background file and go back to the chat message block. Click on the image view, search for source compacts, and here instead of using the IC foreground launcher uh, background, I will use the newly created circle background. Right now it doesn't look great. That's because we need to change the width and height. Let's experiment with 24 dp, and I will, I will remove the layout weight because I don't need it. As you can see, let me zoom in. So we are getting a perfect circle. The text view is touching the icon, let's say, or the logo. So let's add a margin end to push the text view. I will put 16 dp. Inside, you can see that if I select the three views, the text view is not centered. To fix this problem, click on the linear layout, search for gravity, and center vertical. You can see now that the text view is centered. This text view represents the name of the user or the model. I'll just give it an ID. Like for example, user agent name text view. Refactor. And now let's collapse this linear layout and let's add two new text views. I'll put the linear layout on top. The first text view will show the time when the question was asked or when the model gave the response. Let's give this text view a size of or a size equal to 12 SP. We want it to be small. Currently it is touching the logo. So let's add 4 dp as margin to the top. And finally we will give it an ID. Let's say date text view refactor. There is one view left to customize. This text view will show the user's query or the model's response. Thus, I will give it user agent message text view as an ID. Hit refactor. After that, I will set the size to 16 SP. And let's not forget to add a margin top equal to 8 dp. Okay, let me zoom back. Okay, this looks great. Now, close this file, and I just want to say, congratulations, we have finished working on the design part. Now let's go to the coding session. Open the main activity class. Here, I will declare these views outside the onCreate method, and I will remove the response text view because we no longer have it in the design. This is the change and how it looks like. Now I will add the linear layout that will contain the message blocks. So I called it chat body container, go down and let's instantiate it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And if you go back to the activity main file, this is the ID that we gave to this linear layout. And let's, let me clarify one more time. This linear layout will contain the message blocks. Let's add another variable. Let's call it chat model. This is an instance of the chat futures class. Let's instantiate this chat model. 
instead of chat futures, I will call it chat model. Equals get chat model. This is a method that we will create. Let's declare it down. Private chat futures get model. For now, we are going to leave it empty because we need to change something inside the Gemini Pro class. Inside this class, I will make the get model method public instead of private. Go back to the get chat model and add the following lines of code. First, we are creating an instance of the Gemini Pro class. Then we are getting the model and then by using the start chat method, we get the model that can do multi-turn conversations. Now we need to pass this chat model to the get response method. One more time, go back to the Gemini Pro class. This time I will make the get response method stat static. And I wanted to accept a chat model as an argument. So let me add it here. Now we, we have some errors. First, I don't need to get the model from uh, the Gemini Pro class. So I'll just remove the first two lines and I will replace them with this block of lines. When working with multi-turn conversations, we need to specify the role. For the user who asks questions, we will give it the user role and the model will have the model role. You can see that now we no longer have this content and we don't have the model. So we need to change this line too. I will replace it with this line of code. You can see that instead of using the generate content method, we have the send message and the rest stays the same. Move back to the main activity class and inside the send query button, when clicking on it, we no longer need to instantiate the model. We no longer have the response text view. And here we can easily call the get response method using the Gemini Pro class because it is a static method. Inside the on response, I will remove the response text view because we removed it from the design. Now, what remains is to populate the linear layout with the message blocks. For this, I will add a new method called populate chat body. It will take three arguments, the username, the message, and the date. Inside the method, I will create a, line, a layout inflator and a view. A layout inflator is used to instantiate layout XML file into the corresponding view objects. In our case, the layout inflator will inflate the chat message block .xml layout file into this view object. After that, we are using the view object to access the three text views inside the chat message block. Once this is done, we can change the content of the text views with the information provided to this populate chat body method. At this point, we have configured the chat message block. Now we can add it to the chat body container just by using the add view method. Finally, because we have a scroll view, we would like to make it scroll to the bottom automatically when the new content is not visible. And this is how we do this. We can use the full scroll method to give us this desired result. Close the method and now let's see where to use it. First, we will use it before sending the prompt to the model and, and once the model gives us the response either in the onResponse method or, or in the onError method. I'll start here. You can see that here uh, the query was asked by the user. This is why I gave you as the username. I passed the query and I need to get the date. I will create this method later. Inside the onResponse method, I will do the same thing. But instead, I will use Gemini Pro as the name because this is the response that comes from the model and get date. I'll do the same thing here. Instead of showing the toast message, I will replace it with the populate chat body. And I will show this message just, a, just as an example. To get the date, as I said, I will create the get date method. 
I will put it down below. And this method is very straightforward. It just returns the date in a specific format. In this case, we are showing the year, the month, the day, the hours and the minutes. You can change the formatting however you like. And after that, we are returning the string version of the date. You can see that we still have a problem here because I forgot to pass the chat model to the get response method. And now we have no problems. Congratulations, we have finished working on the code. Now we are ready to test the application. The application is running. Let's test it. I'll start by saying hello. Okay, good. The message block is appearing. Great. And the model gave us the response. Let's start by giving the uh, this question. What are the most used programming languages? Click on send query. You can see that the message is appearing down below. And if the model gave us the response, we should see that the scroll view will scroll to the bottom to show us the response, the full response or the new messages. Good. So the model gave us a list. Now to test the chat model capability, I will, let's see. So we have Python, Java, JavaScript, C, C++. So let's ask it about the four, the four language. So I'll not say the C language just to see if the model will pick it up. So this is the question. Why is the fourth programming language is very fast compared to the first one? So here I am meaning the C programming language and I'm talking about the Python programming language. Let's see if the model will pick it up. Right now I am looking at the first message. When I click on the send query, the scroll view will scroll automatically. Okay, so I have my question appearing. Let's wait for the model to give us the response. Let's see. So the fourth programming language is not necessarily faster than the first one. The speed of programming language depends on various factors, including etc. So here you can see that it says, for example, C is a compiled language known for its speed and efficiency, while Python is an interpreted language that is generally slower, which means that the model was able to look at the past messages to be able to answer this one. Great. We have arrived at the end of this video. I just want to mention that currently the multi-chat conversation capability is only working with the Gemini Pro model. If you try to use the Gemini Pro Vision model, you will get some exceptions. In the upcoming video, I will show you how to count the number of tokens. See you next time.